Hello guys, the DB Grounder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have round four of the LGS, aka the Luxury Gaming Series. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out Luxury's Facebook page, link down below at the top of the description, so that we can see their future tournaments. And we are going to see Samuel Trung versus Philip Campa, round four, Ecclesia into Moyi, Moyi Effect, Reveal Otara, and then Synchro those off. Oh, not synchroing those off because we're going to be going for Long Young into Synchro 10. Kind of wild that they took that back. I'm not going to lie. Kind of wild. It seems like Philip Campa is stressing over this feature match. But they got a cat token. Discard Autora, special summon Long Young, bring out token, drop token collector. And then Synchro off into Long Young. Uh, graveyard effect to burn for 12. So Samuel Chung, I'm fairly certain, was the guy that was like Sword Soul Sam. So he obviously is going to know what his opponent's deck does. I assume most people would know what Sword Soul does at this point. But you'd be surprised. Uh, we can see Flounder Rees. Which is not going to have an easy time pushing through this. You gotta think, they have Long Young to banish, they have Graymaster to negate, they have Blackout to pop. Yeah, that's... That's not an easy on board to break. Goes ahead, Normal Summon Robin, and then... Robin Effect... Chain Grandmaster to try to negate. Chain Adventure. Banish. Oh. Phillips thinking. Maybe they want to Ash Blossom that. Decides not to. Okay, so. Um, Adventure goes search. Eagle. Robin goes search. Ostrich. And then off of the Robin, they're going to get to Normal Summon. They'll probably bring out Eagle, so that way they can chain block it with the Robin. Or brings out Ostrich. And then Ostrich Effect. Don't know if they're using Robin. But we see Nib in Phillip's hand also. It's crazy enough, could come up. It could. Okay, so now, uh, just used Ostrich, didn't use anything else, and then now we're going to go Summon Eagle, Eagle 1, Robin 2, they could go Blackout and pop the Birdos, so that way they don't have anything to tribute with, they've already gone through Robin 2, so now getting back to enough Birdos is a very hard time. Yeah, it goes ahead, gets rid of the Sword Soul Synchro. Okay. Their set is heavenly. It shouldn't be that hard of a read either now. Especially because if they're willing to get rid of the Long Young Synchro, which is the Optimistic Mine, they probably have another one. And then they're just going to pass turn. Yeah, Summon Ecclesia, and they scoop. So... That was a pretty quick game one. Uh, we can go ahead and skip into the next game. We see Token Collector, Harpy's Featherstorm. Uh, we also saw that he was main decking a Harpy's Featherstorm. I saw that. Um, they're going to go ahead and activate Prosperity for six. We see Unexplored, Empin, Mega Monarch. We all, I also saw Apex Avion in there. Hand game one. I really don't like the four tributes. I'm not going to lie. Like... It feels so bad drawing them. Empin doesn't feel that bad to draw. The other ones feel bad to draw. In most scenarios. And now they're going to go duality. Look at the top three. Grabs the eagle. Okay. And I think they have eagle, harpies, adventure, map. <laughs> So that's just, uh, that's an FTK hand. Uh, that's game, unless the opponent has red reboot. 
That's how I see it, at least. And even Red Reboot, it's not going to be the greatest. But it is definitely something that is necessary to break the end board. And that Robin effect. Chain Ash Blossom. But they, already, they always have map eagles, so that way they can chain block the eagle from the ash. Now, Empin 1, Eagle 2. Uh, grab back eagle, go search. And then that's going to grab the Dreaming Town, the trap card. So I see Ashina, Vashuda, Heavenly, and I think that's Audera. Draws Dark Ruler, which isn't going to do anything. Yeah. So think about how I'm gonna play this out. Um, they do not want to mess this up. Ashina chain harpies. Pass. If you set one pass, it goes to the top of your deck. So it is simply just pass turn. And then pray that they do not know how to play their deck. Because this is game. Map, reveal, ego, go banish. It depends what they have in their hand also. Um, but this is like one card away from game. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah it is, it is. Oh no, it should be, it should be game. There's just so many different ways to do this. Oh. Uh, but well, maybe they just play safe if they have like another Harpy's Feather Storm too. Well, I guess that's when you wouldn't play safe, right? Is when you have another Harpy's. Because like, what's the point of even playing safe if you know that you just have a way to stop the hand trap? Could preemptively flip it, but then Imper makes you look like a doofus. So now it brings out Empin, Search Unexplored. Summon statue. Yeah, they didn't have to go for statue. Because they could have, uh... They could have just grabbed a bird. And then went, like, ostrich, toucan. And then... Yeah, you just went. So... Now, it's really just, uh, yeah, I don't know what they're thinking about here. Maybe activating the Dreaming Town to try to get game. Okay, yep, activate. Summon out Ostrich. Or Toucan. Okay, Toucan's fine. We knew they had that. Tribute Summon for Apex Avion. Okay, and they win. So, going on into game three now. We can skip ahead. Um, We're going to get to see Sword Soul go first. Sword Soul definitely has the advantage. They can set up Grandmaster, even through Shifter. Grandmaster can still banish from hand. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, we see Desires, Veiler. I think that's Droplet. So, we have a lot of interruptions outside of our engine too. So, even if our engine does get stopped, we have all those. We activate Desires, so yeah, we special Ashina, make Monk, and then Desires. Nice. I guess you get to find out if you're getting shifted or not. Banishes two anti-spell, draws a trap. It looked like a common though, yeah, it looked like Blackout. And then Vashuda summon, Ashina for Adara. With the quickness, Did and before they banished all their Adaras. Okay, so trying to think what could Sword Soul Sam have? Could have Raigeki summoning Draco Berserker, which means that that's the out the token collector before they keep going. Which could be pretty good. A lot of people that are play Flounderies don't play token collectors simply because there's not room for it. 
but the matchup isn't that good. Well, so what was on that Baylor? Oh, it's just signed. But that the matchup isn't a good matchup. So you kind of want some cards that are uh, pretty strong in the matchup. Go grab Long Young. Never mind. Scratch that. We grab Moyi. Because then we could just Moyi into Grandmaster into grab Long Young. Happy they have realized the line, the play. It's a pretty uh, pretty easy play, but we'll get the effects now. So we're going to search and then draw. Uh, search Long Young. Pass the deck over to be cut. And then they draw one. Uh, they can Otter add back the discard for Long Young. So you don't want to be discarding the black out that revealed off Mo Yi. To be honest, we never even needed to reveal the blackout off Mo Yi. We could have just Otter added back Ashina and kept that card a secret. But, you know, giving out free information. They're trying to make Fleur, but they can't do that. Oh, they're not making Fleur. I thought it was the wind. Okay, make that. Burn for 12. He's forgetting the burn for 12. He's, he's, too, he's too excited. He's burning for 12 after setting one. And I mean, Sam's letting it happen. You know, he, he could say, no, I'm not going to take that 12 damage. You messed up. That is your fault. Oh, we see Lightning Storm in the hand too. They go Battle Phase, activate evenly. Yeah, and it's resolving and it's banishing a lot. Are they just going to leave themselves with Grandmaster? Or leave themselves with Supreme? I could see so I could I could see an argument for either or being left. Yeah, at least Supreme. It's a lot of banished cards too now. So that card's really pumped up. Ooh, activate prosperity. Yeah, just banish six. Look at the top six. Um, yeah, think about grabbing map. They have duality in hand also. Imagine if they just left Grandmaster, they just lightning storm the Grandmaster and then just win anyways. But now they have to like actually think. Okay, so... Yeah, thinking about, they're going to grab Adventure there. So grab Adventure, put this to the bottom of the deck. Now activating Duality. Duality, look at the top three. We see Token Collector, Harpies, Eagle. They already have an Eagle in hand. Um, Token Collector still doesn't seem that bad, to be honest. Card is kind of insane. Harpies seems bad. Harpies is just not getting taken. So it's between Eagle and Token Collector. So I think they just asked if they knew anything in hand, but they do not. Oh? Yeah. Grab Token Collector. I should try to keep them off normal monsters too. So that way they can't ten you. Unless they just like, haha, normal summon Otter. But summon Robin, effect. They know that they have adventure, so if they veil her, all they are doing is triggering the adventure effect. Why would you play into it? They're gonna search Eagle. And search... See, at the beginning, that 12 extra damage at the beginning very well could come up. I 100% was not letting my opponent burn for 12 if they set a card. I'm being like, nope, nope, nope. It's not even like a big difference. It wouldn't even matter that much. It doesn't, like, who cares? It's 12 burn. 
But Adventure's gonna let him gain five. And then off of Robin, they're gonna normal summon Eagle. Eagle effect. And then they're gonna activate Supreme. So banish Eagle, banish Adventure. You wouldn't want to banish Adventure. That's actually the worst card to banish out of their graveyard. Okay, just banish evenly. And they do not have enough birds to keep going. So, they're going to go ahead, grab Empin. Uh, do they summon off Eagle? Is what they grabbed Ostrich, right? And like, if you summon Ostrich and use the effect, it's gonna have zero attack on field. Or you have an open board, which is also equivalent to zero attack. Or they grab two. Did they just grab Tukin this time? Did they, did they grab Tukin? I thought they grabbed Ostrich. Or do they just have both? And then they're gonna sack them. No, they don't have both. Highly doubt it. Highly doubt it. Oh, pass turn. I like how he like looked through his graveyard, went, is there a Skarm? Nope. Fair enough. So, two Ecclesia on hand, plus the draw for turn, looking over how many Banish cards there are. Oh, putting Dice on. Is that 22 Banish cards? Yeah, sounds about right, because the opponent's Banish cards count too. There's Prosperity for six, uh, evenly. Okay, so now... Um, Let's find out. Swordsel has Ecclesia. Sam has Token Collector to deal with the Taya effect. Um, maybe summon Ecclesia and don't use the effect for Taya. No, you could use the effect for Taya. Get Supreme effect. So it would be Taya, Banish, um, Summon Token, Supreme Chain Link 1, Token Collector Chain Link 2, Summon Token Collector, Banish Token Collector with Supreme. It's off field. Oh? Oh? Thoughts? Just uh, waiting for them to see what they're going to do. Taking a little while on this. Really thinking this through. When the only actual play is to indeed summon Ecclesia. Or switch Supreme to attack. And just attack. Um, maybe they don't have Taya in deck. Come on, this is taking forever. This has been like at least 17 minutes on this Ecclesia play. Easily. Easily. Okay, nice. Tributes. Nice, nice. There's Taya. Okay, let's go. Summons out the Taya. And now they switch to attack. I mean, if we go... Hold on. Let me work this through one more time. If you have Supreme on board, you summon Taya. You Taya effect, you banish from graveyard, you summon token. On summon, trigger effects happen. Turn players goes first. Supreme chain link one. The opponent now has a chance to activate token collector. They do activate token collector. Token Collector gets summoned. Its effect to destroy tokens will not activate until a new chain link. Supreme banishes the Token Collector off of their field. It cannot be activated because they don't have anything on field, though. 
No, they did because they had the bird on the field that they had just beat over. So then if they wanted to, yep, I was about to say, I know I wouldn't have missed that, but um, they just summoned Robin and activated the effect. Doesn't even use the banished effect. I mean, kind of deserved to be honest. You played in the Ash Blossom extremely hard, and then you end up losing to it. Um, I don't, I don't, I mean, why, why, why not chain block? I, I, I'm confused. Is there a reason why they didn't chain block? I mean, that sounds kind of awkward. No, if if you chain block, you probably just win. Your opponent puts Supreme in attack position, like, like e Empen can beat Supreme. There, they they cited out duality map. Some interesting side outs. I guess like map doesn't do a lot against Sword Soul because they can go ha ha effect banish or. Haha, <laughs> blackout. Huh. So, evenly, harpies, L storm, token collector. Those were the side ends. Um, that was bad. That was bad. Uh, it's supposed to be Taya effect on Res has to collector and Chungus chain link one and then someone says collector is mandatory so it's chain link one. That's literally not how it works. The effect of summon is optimal is optimal optional only mandatory to destroy that's correct so indeed could have played that better. Both sides could have played that better. Um That was just a little Hey, look, it's Hani. Oh, look, it's Hani's brother. <laughs> I played. Uh, that's Heism. He's cool. And there's Urena. I don't like how close we are, by the way. This is just kind of weird. Um, this, um, this is how it must to be, like, this is how it is to be, like, eight foot, right? Like, just looking down on them. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, all right. Uh, with all that being said, that is it for that round. I will be uploading more rounds very, 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 very soon. So, again, just go ahead, check out Luxury's Facebook page. Link down below at the top of the description. And with that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.